Hi everybody! This is a demonstration video on how to connect the new generation smart security light from Anki to your surveillance feed in four different ways. Before starting, download the free Anki Light app from the App Store or Google Play and install it on your smartphone or tablet. Then open up the Anki Light app. If you already have an account, then you can directly log in. If not, go ahead and set up an account and then proceed with the rest of this tutorial. After opening the app, you will be shown a device list. Since you haven't added any devices yet, it should be empty. Click on the Add Device button at the bottom of your screen. Here you will see the four different ways of connecting your device to your feed. Let's check them out together one by one. Click on the first button that reads Scan the QR code to add. This should take you to the Wi-Fi setting page. Go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now it gets interesting. Take the attached pin and press on the set key at the base of the smart security light for one second and release. You should hear a beep sound. Next, you're going to scan the QR code on the side of the device. After it's been scanned successfully, the ID box on the Add Device page should be filled in. Now click the Next button on the bottom of the page. From here, you will place your phone within 10 to 20 centimeters of the security light's camera, and then press Confirm. Now, just let the security light's camera scan the QR code on your phone. When you hear the beep sound, press Yes. You should now be successfully connected to your camera's feed. From here you can control a few really cool features. Press the light button to shine a light where the camera is installed. If you hold the speak button down, you can record yourself and broadcast it from the camera. With the alarm button, the camera will emit a warning sound. Now let's look at the four buttons in the top left. Click the first one to play clips. Next is Snapshot. Press this to take and save a photo. The volume button allows you to play or mute the audio from your camera's location. And finally, the SDHD button allows you to switch between standard definition and high definition. Click the gear icon in the top right. This is your settings. Come here to configure your light settings. You can also customize your motion detection range. Make sure to click Save in the top right after making changes. You can set your TF card to manual record from here. And you can also make sure your camera and phone times are in sync. Click Camera Time Check to see for yourself. Now I'm going to show you how to add a device by Wi-Fi. First, click Add by Wi-Fi. Enter your Wi-Fi details and press Confirm. Next, you will repeat the same steps from before. Take the attached pin and press on the set key at the base of the smart security light for one second and release. Then you should hear a beep sound. Next, you're going to scan the QR code on the side of the device. After it's been scanned successfully, the ID box on the Add Device page should be filled in. Now click the Next button on the bottom of the page. Let's wait a moment while the Wi-Fi connects. Once all three steps have been checked off, you should be good to go. Now let's look at how to add by network cable. First click on Add by network cable. Next, scan the QR code on the side of the device. After it's been scanned successfully, the ID box on the Add Device page should be filled in. Click the Next button on the bottom of the page. After a minute or two, you should be connected and see the feed from your camera. Click the gear icon in the top right to take you to Settings. Click the Wi-Fi setting and then Device Online. Here you can configure and select your Wi-Fi network. Type in your password and click Setting. 
and then the arrow in the top left to go back. Now let's look at how to add a device by sharing with friends. First, click on Add Friends Share. Next, simply press the blue button to activate your scanner and then scan the QR code in your friend's Anki Light app. Once it says the device has been bonded successfully, you're all good. Hopefully now you understand the different ways to connect the smart light to your surveillance feed. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any other questions, feel free to contact our support team with any help you may require.